Welcome back to the Big Fight Recap here on BLTV Classic. He hit guys and knocked them unconscious. Not unlike Joe Lewis and George Foreman. And he had hand speed like a Muhammad Ali. On today's video, we take a look back at Mike Tyson's highly anticipated television debut on ESPN. Tyson fought 18 times in his first year as a pro, with most fights recorded by a home film crew that worked for Custom Auto. So when the odd opportunity for TV time presented itself, the Tyson team was always eager to impress. Let's get to the action. It was a night of heavyweight action on June 20th, 1985, as ESPN's heavyweight tournament came to a close with Jesse Ferguson and Tony Anthony battling out a spot for world ranking placements. Ferguson was on fire during this time and expected to win, yet little did the fans at home know that the 19-year-old Mike Tyson from the undercard would soon be the one and only name in boxing's most prized weight class. For Mike Tyson! And his opponent in the blue corner. Mike Tyson's opponent for the night, Ricky Spain, was credited as having a 7-0 record, but as was often the case during this time, his credentials were buffed by producers to add intrigue. Fact-checking fighters' records was vastly different, if not impossible, before the internet era, and we now know that Spain's actual record was 1-0. Spain looked in good shape, however, and after the referee's instructions, the two men were ready for battle. Spain, he too went into the fourth round and got a knockout over Steve Allred. That was his first fight, however, in about three years. That came on December the 4th. So here he is after a six-month layoff going against the baby bull and Mike Tyson. And Tyson, with that big, strong arm strength, goes right at Ricky Spade. Mike Tyson, a fine amateur, though. He only had 17 fights, 15 and 2. Tw his only two losses. Oh, good right hand. Down goes Spade. Well, right hand is a strong one for Mike Tyson. A right hand during an exchange sent Spade to the canvas after a mere 18 seconds had passed. Fans' hopes of getting a prolonged look at Tyson on his TV debut seemed unlikely. Decision. If he's going to let Spain continue, and here comes Tyson again. He got him with the left hand, and he's out of here. It is over as Spain is down, and the left hand was the one that finally finished him off. After a quick right-left combination from Tyson, Ricky Spain down for the second time here in the first round. And Tyson is 4-0 with four knockouts now. Even in this fight, in the short time, we could see your, your punches are so short and compact. They look great. Well, as you know, um, I'm 19, and I'm just improving. That's not, that's not all I'm doing. There's a lot of other things that I could do very well. And as time comes and I'm learning and the learning stage as I am now, things are going as more and more as I like it to be. The internet can be a harsh place for young fighters trying to learn their craft today, with most boxing fans pushing for a step up to contender contention after four or five outings. Tyson is an excellent example of how young boxers in any era should be learning the ropes, fighting actively two or three times a month, whether it's on TV or not, with the sole purpose of just improving fundamentals. You Mike, your fights have been so quick to this point, it uh, seems hardly worth the trip down, but are you getting to a point where you need longer fights, where you need somebody to carry you, I mean, to, to extend you a bit? Well, Mick, um, it's hard to explain this because I'm in the gym and I'm boxing 10 rounds all the time in the gym. And I'm boxing with good fighters, contenders. And if I could box them with contenders and hold my own, I'm most definitely sure I could come in here and box 10 rounds with any man. Sounds like you're getting your best work in the gym then. <laughs> most likely, yes. Yeah. 